The Dillon boys didn't get a chance to defend their state title last year, and after a missed opportunity, these beavers are eager to pick up where they left off. Our uh, sophomore and freshman class, are, they're really big this year, and we're really pumped to have those guys out here, and it's definitely going to look good for the next couple of years. The Dillon boys were crowned Class A champions in 2019, sharing the title with Laurel as both teams finished with 81 points. This team is a long way removed from that squad, but the Beavers have plenty of both established and up-and-coming talent. You know, that was a special year back in 2019, and, and the nice thing is, is we've got six of those kids that were part of that team and so uh, we've got a good nucleus of kids that were part of that team and, and know what it takes and uh, know, what, know what work they have to put into to make a championship type team. The Dillon boys had a promising first meet in Corvallis last weekend taking fourth but the Beaver girls truly impressed as they took home a team win. They look poised to build on 2019's runner-up finish. I was really really excited with what I saw and for them to go out and do some of the things that they did this weekend uh, was pretty special and I look forward to uh, what they can contribute to this team as well because it's going to take more than just our juniors and seniors. We're going to have to have contributions from, from them as well. It felt really good. Uh, obviously all of it was pretty new, only a couple of weeks of practice, but it felt really good to back out, get back out there on the track. Reporting in Dillon, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.